All right, so in this tutorial, uh, we're going to model uh, this uh, chapel. It's actually uh, a chapel that is uh, located in Japan. And I found it quite interesting and I, I really like the design. So I just wanted to show you how we can actually model these, uh, these wooden beams and what is the quickest way to approach a project like this. Uh, as you can see, it's like, it's all uh, quite light materials, it's wood. And uh, it's designed by Hiroshi Nakamura and NAP Architects. Uh, it's located in Japan and in the description of the video you will, you will get all the information about the architects as well, if you want to check them out. So, uh, so let's start. So first thing we, we want to do is actually, let me just open this image. So as you can see in the base, it, it has five angles here. So we're going to start uh, with a simple polygon that has five sides. And then we're going to, we're going to move uh, later on to, to create all the other ones. So let's go with a polygon number of sides five. And let's say uh, this is the the middle ground and let me just measure okay we need to say we need to have like I think five meters here so I'm gonna scale everything something like five meters is enough it's not gonna be perfectly aligned but we're gonna do as as close as possible so let's go to the perspective and I'm gonna go to the top from here and I'm gonna draw I'm going to draw these, these sides first, and then uh, we're going to see how to extend those sides and get the desired look. All right, so um, I'm checking here the image. Let's rotate it like this. Let me just see something. Okay. So this is the middle. I just need to move this here. And now we have very good, uh, good look that we want. Let's move this to the center. And now let's rotate this guy. Something like this. Okay. And now I can see here that this side is extruded. It has more, uh, more side more sized here and this one as well so uh, let me just check approximately to see what the good estimation of the size is something like this yeah i think this is all right so i'm gonna mirror this guy here and i'm gonna orient this guy as well so i'm gonna use this image this element here to mirror it here on this side uh, okay so let's say that this is our base and now uh, yeah I can just draw these helper lines but I don't know maybe we'll use them maybe we'll want so so now let's uh, we have the the actual plan of the construction now we want to actually create these these half circles here so uh in order to create these half circles i'm gonna first uh let me see yeah so first i'm gonna decide what's gonna be the distance this distance so uh, approximately let's say that this will be around 2.5 meters i think that's enough so i'm gonna i'm gonna type 2.5 here and now I'm gonna cr create this in all of these guys so I'm gonna say give them to all of them I'm using orient command with copy if you're wondering so now I know from which which area these uh, 
these edges will grow. So now what I need to do now is create these circles. And in order to create these circles, we're gonna need tangent, tangent surfaces. So I'm gonna actually copy this. For example, I'm gonna show you here just for one and then we're gonna we're gonna I'm gonna skip the video so for example I need to create half circle between these two lines the easiest way to do this is by using a circle tangent radius so I'm gonna say give me this one and give me this one and now it's asking for the radius I'm just gonna say okay let's start growing it and once it disappears it means it's at the end so I'll just let me see okay so this is it so that's all we need and now uh, the process is uh, why I need this I actually want to trim this guy that's what I need that's what I need to, to create uh, to create these connections with all the other guys here so now I'm gonna do the same thing for all the other curves Okay, so once I have all this ready, we can actually move on and we don't need these lines anymore. We can delete them. And once we have this in the base, this orientation, we can create the structure, this one. So uh, let's, let's first uh, bring these guys up. Well, let's say that this will be the height and we can change the height later on if we want so the first thing I want to do is actually I want to divide this guy uh, so the best way to divide it is just using the help line here and let's say split split this curve into two segments and I'm going to uh, connect it with with these planes uh, but first let's divide let's divide into 30 se 13 segments that's how many there is and let's divide this part as well and this one as well so now it's just a matter of connecting connecting the dots uh, I'm gonna turn off all the other snaps except the point snap and I'm gonna use polyline or line doesn't matter to connect to connect these so uh, the the goal here is to to create this this uh, wooden structure uh, based on first uh, these lines and then once we have these uh, uh, these established then we will going there we're going to create um, the roofing and um, the envelope around it so the basic thing here uh, to to uh, to realize is that um, it's all about the approach that you take when you model uh, structures like these. Uh, of course, there's like many multiple ways that you can uh, model something, but the 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 smartest way to 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 work on this is to first think what uh, my approach can be and how I can speed this up and what's the fastest way to achieve the result that I want and I know sometimes like even me sometimes I I do the long the long uh, 
the long hours and and uh, because I didn't think through of what could be the best possible solution for 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 it. So it's normal that sometimes you just don't um, you don't get something right away, but it's just important to 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 continue and to to be able to fi finalize the project. So now uh, once I have this. I will do the same thing on this side as well. So let's split this guy. Uh, um, okay, now for this guy because it's not the same radius, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the different method. I'm gonna actually divide this in three in three halves, and then this half will be only for this part. This middle one will be for this uh, straight part, and then the last one will be for this one. So let me just check from the top if that's all right. Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay. So let's now let's divide this. Middle, uh, okay, so now let's split this one. Cutting objects will be these two dots. And we have three segments. And this segment has 13. This segment has also 13 and let's say this guy also maybe has more but let me check. Okay, so this middle segment has more, let's say 20. And now let's divide this one, 20 and this one in 13. So now I'm just going to do the, the, uh, the same thing all around and then I'll uh, we'll continue from there. Okay, so once we have these, um, once we have these divisions, now we can uh, delete the dots and let's see what's the next step. So now let's just uh, see if these heights are looking correct. I think they're fine. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is actually uh, create the surfaces from these areas from these lines and first thing we're gonna do is let's select the bottom ones and the top ones and let's hide them for a second okay so uh, as you can see all these lines are not connected so the way that the easiest way to connect them is select all of them and just press join and then you will see that um, all of them are connected because we were drawing them precisely and uh, Right now we want to actually create uh, some kind of offsets for these surfaces. Uh, so we're gonna go and use offset command and let's say the distance of zero point. I think 20 is okay. So we're just gonna uh, create offsets like these and then we're gonna say, gonna connect these two and these two and uh, then the rest is just saying planar surface and creating these surfaces like so. So let's do it again. I'm creating uh, so, uh, creating lines all around my surface, selecting the lines and then uh, then doing the planar surface and I get the surface like this. So I'm just gonna do this now for for uh, for the whole thing, 
and then we're going to offset these these guys so once we have all the lines uh, offset uh, the last thing we can do is let's say select closed curves and let's isolate them and now we can just say planar surface and the matching happens we have all the surfaces that we wanted another thing we can do is we can actually give them thickness so let's select all the curves let's hide them or group them and hide them the last thing we can do is offset these guys so let's offset surface and let's select the distance of 0 0.1 okay so this is the final structure um hope that you like it now i'm just gonna create uh, the roofing and the glass and then i'm gonna render this out and show you the final result but here is the final rendering uh the image turned out quite well i think uh, we just don't have these forests and, and, and trees, but it's it's fine for now. So um, thank you for watching. And if you like this kind of content, please uh, like, share and subscribe to this channel and click that uh, bell button so that you get notified every time I upload some, some new tutorial.